Yo, what's good, E2? Welcome back. It's your boy, Skylar, and today we got item 22 is more desperate than ever, all right? Uh, if you want to help a boy out, hey, remember, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get it. So the last time we caught up with Adam 22, he was down bad for Drake's dong. The skin color matched up with the skin color that I would think that Drake's would actually be. The man's got a missile on him. And wait, wait, what? Wait, run that back? Wait, what? Off the rip? So the last time we caught up with Adam 22, he was down bad for Drake's dong. The skin color matched up with the skin color that I would think that Drake's would actually be. The man's got a missile on him. And begging the likes of Aiden Ross for just a single drop of clout. Drake's resembles a missile to such an extreme degree that I think it's fair that Aiden says it as well. To Bro. me, when Adam did all of that stuff no with pause, his wife, no, he really no laid Diddy, all of his no cards nothing. out onto the table before he had to. This guy is obsessed with numbers, analytics, and going viral. And ever since that moment, almost everything to come from Adam has been overly manufactured to try and generate impressions, which obviously comes off as extremely corny to the general public. As we predict- Bro, clout is one hell of a drug. I'm telling you, that's one hell of a drug, bro. Predicted back God, then, damn. Adam has now made himself a running joke on the internet, and for the most part, people no longer take him seriously. And now in the latest update I have for you today, Adam is at his most desperate that he's ever been when it comes to his thirst for attention. Oh, and it all boy. really started when this video was posted with the caption, Adam22 caught walking dog with a gay guy. <laughs> Yo, Adam, what you doing, bro? But, uh... And as you guys can see, there's Adam walking a big old poodle. Case okay, has got the Taylor Swift merch on. And the most interesting thing about this clip is this gay guy he's walking with is actually Jack Doherty's older brother. Yes, I'm dead serious. Oh, was it actually? I saw it, but I thought he was trolling. Oh, shit. Yes, these two individuals Damn. came from that same uterus. And the thing about Jack's brother is that he's actually a gay adult star himself. So this is when people started to put Damn. two and two together and say that these two might possibly be either dating or shooting some scenes together. Adam would then just happen to get this sus phone call while on stream. Yeah. I'm getting a phone call from a number I don't have listed and I feel like it might be t row Let's see. Hey, babe, are we still doing dinner tonight? No. Oh, wait, wait. Cool. Sounds kind of like... That sounds like a <laughs> you see you see like why why would you even answer an unknown number on speaker when you're on recording like bro what <laughs> dead homies like my bad bro how you doing bad, like, tonight like, <laughs> that was the wrong number <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, for you run that way you go that way that was no, nah, nah, that was somebody else. Sorry. I gotta meet some of you ladies. You got a lot of them. I have many ladies. You have many. That was a fiddle um, right there. That was a fiddle. <laughs> now, to me, I yeah, don't really know what's happened. more sad. The fact that Adam believes his audience is so low IQ that they might actually believe this bullshit, or that Adam can convince all these different yes men around him to act along with him. Yes, now, man. I think this has to be one of the sadder things that we've ever seen Adam do for clout. Where during one of their recent live streams, Adam decides to walk on set and accidentally reveal that he's wearing a G string. Yo, Adam, what? What's up with my boy? Hey, what you do? dog? Respect oh this man, man. You got the Weezer shirt on? Bro, hold on. What you just got done doing, bro? The Weezer shirt, huh? Your ass is out. Oh, on hey, 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 you hey, selling hey, crack? Hey. What the? F Wait. What? Go on, go on. Hey, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. Come on, nah. Man, you saving that nah, shit he for weird. Him. Adam <laughs> weird. Adam weird. Adam caught on camera. Hey, bro. <laughs> Adam, hey. Hey. We do not approve of that message. Hey, on my life. I don't approve of that one. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, bro. See, now I have to believe that these guys may have not actually been in on the bit. Flacco, I hope you weren't in on that shit, as a matter of fact. But yes, just another instance of Adam trying to manufacture a viral moment. And it just really was not working because it's almost like he's become the boy who cries wolf. Like he's obviously been looking for clout in all these different situations. He's obviously put himself into some very compromising positions already. 
And so at this point, when people see videos of him circulating around online, they just think, oh, that's just that guy who's desperate for attention. And there also must not be a lot of truth in what he's doing or saying because he has lied or tried to manipulate people in the past to go viral. And I guess now we finally get to the payoff in this entire situation, kind of the big expose that... Bro, and the thing is just like they have kids and shit too, right? So like what happens when they go to school and then they're knowing and being bullied and whatnot, bro? That's just weird, bro. And like, bro, anything for money and just clout, bro, like anything. That's just crazy. Like just being known as like the cock guy, like the cock, cock lord or whatever you want to call it. Just like insane. That Adam has been setting up where on April Fool's he had this to say. I'm proud to announce my first ever gay scene. For many years, I've dreamed of what it would be like to shoot with one of my bros, and I decided to stop holding back and live my truth. I know some of you won't like this decision, but I hope you would choose to respect my choice. Big thanks to my scene partner, Jack's brother, for letting me tear that ass up. Can't wait for y'all to see this content. Hey, and then he just shares a bunch of crazy ass photos. Like, I'm definitely going to have to censor most of, if not all of this bullshit right here and um yeah i guess that's probably the only one i can really show y'all in its full entirety and what i don't know hell? it's pretty believable okay this one almost looks to me like the little guy's first day in prison and he got the russian mobster there in the background <laughs> where he take that booty now obviously this plea to the universe to go viral was extremely manufactured from adam's part Adam would later put out a vlog that I guess was supposed to show how easily he can manipulate people into making himself go viral. Today, I'm embarking on something new and exciting. I am going to be attempting to troll the world into believing that I am a homosexual. I'm going to convince the world I'm gay. Am I going to regret this? Bro, you don't need to convince us, bro. We already know. <laughs> you might try to, like, troll and say that you are, but you like, not, nah, but, like, Bro, we already know you are, bro. That like, don't act like as if we're not in tune. Like, you feel me? It's possible. So we he know. goes through the whole thing, showing each step of the way from meeting with Jack's gay brother. Are there moments where you're like, okay, I don't know if I'm proud of him anymore because he's doing some of the weirdest stuff on the internet, there's making some, everybody yeah, hate him? Yeah, I mean, there's some <laughs> stuff that he does, but we're gonna keep grinding this out. I'm just gonna keep trying to think of like a new gay thing to put out into the media. Am I convincingly gay right there? I don't know. <laughs> he shows the phone call. I had him call in and I pretended it was, was going to be somebody else. Like it was a number I didn't have saved. It doesn't seem like people are really going for it. Guess that my PR team was sending it to a couple of meme pages, but they couldn't get it posted. Like nobody was really biting. So I sent it to a dude that I know. Get in on this. Help me to make this a thing. So he posted it, wrote his own caption. So is Keemstar that would help manufacture, bro. You know, in a perfect world. Kim, I'll sorry, that's not a good look for like people. There's some people out there that look at you for like credible source, knowing that you're like helping him like create this fake thing. Yeah, that's not a good look, but I'll probably get like <laughs> not three, at all. four, five viral gay things going on as part of this. He shows their little photo shoot. Okay, how, how does it look? I think this is the best one. Pro, no way. How'd you like my acting? How's my, my gay acting? And even the plan for him to wear that thong onto the no jumper stream. All right, this is where I take things to a whole new level. They said, are you down to wear these shorts? I said, yes, anything <laughs> to make this thing work. And so now oh here's my, my next one. I'm gonna put on this thong and I'm gonna go into the news and I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Now in the end, Adam would once again fail to go viral. Just like the show that revolved around giving away his wife, I think the end result here was very underwhelming. It seems like a lot yeah, of people no one are give, no one so cared. wrapped up in how funny it is, the, the pictures primarily, that they are not really like worried about the April Fool's thing. They're just going to roll with it. See, I'm, I'm hoping we get some like real anger from people, like in particular the right-wing community. I'm hoping that they get like angry. Like, first off, no one really gave a fuck. Yeah, I mean, right. honestly, I think that people just wanted to see his wife get banged by someone else. 
I don't think they're really interested in the extracurricular activities of the Mr. 22 by himself. Like, and the other thing is, yeah. this was all just way too believable to actually be a joke. Many people have actually predicted that this would be the next step in Adam's career. And I know he might have presented this as some sort of the rainbow. first got you prank. But I feel like this was more or less him testing the waters. I know he will bring this situation up with various guests on his podcast to see how they kind of feel. But to me, it really just keeps getting more and more sad for Adam at this point. I just don't get why he's so desperate for clout and attention, but to me, he's really ruined all of his avenues to achieve that because he is so bombarded by trolls every single time he posts. And he took himself from yep. like this media conglomerate to be taken seriously and kind of just made his entire life something to be laughed at. I don't know, maybe he's making like insane money from these situations. But to me, I really just don't think it's all worth it. This guy is already a multi-millionaire. But y'all let me know bro. what you guys think happy, about bro. this situation down below. How much shit on the internet is manufactured at this point to go viral? Either way, I do want to thank you guys 98 for watching this video, it. dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think. And also, yeah, subscribe and see you for the next one.